Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today I'm going to prevail in the Mediterranean, or at least I am going to try. The objective is to lead the Italian naval forces and defeat a powerful British fleet. It is 1941, near the Cape Matapan, south of Greece, where a British and an Italian fleet prepare to fight each other. You're in command of the Italian fleet and you must defeat the enemy without taking heavy losses. Your fleet of cruisers and destroyers can be reinforced either with a few strong battleships or multiple cruisers of various types that you will design. The British possess three state-of-the-art battleships accompanied by many light cruisers and destroyers. Now what I find amusing about this scenario is that it says uh, you must defeat the enemy without taking heavy losses. Keep 35% alive of allies. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not very... <laughs> that's not... Uh, you cannot take a lot of losses. That's You can take quite a lot of losses and you'd still win the scenario. Now, considering that the enemy has three battleships, light cruisers, and a whole lot of destroyers, there are several ways that you can approach this scenario. You could build a couple of light cruisers, um, and considering you have a budget of 160 million, you can build a lot of light cruisers. And you can just go all out on the torpedoes. Um, or you can go battleships. The reason why I'm disregarding the battle cruiser and the heavy cruiser is that I think the battle cruiser and the heavy cruiser, they're too much a jack of all trades. The battle cruisers might not have the firepower to punch through the battleships. Um, the heavy cruisers definitely don't have the punch, and once again you'd be relying on torpedoes, while at the same time proposing a much larger target than when you're using a light cruiser. So for this one, I'm going to use a battleship and see what the Italian hulls have available for battleships. Now it is equal text. Um, this is not something I can choose or unchoose. There is no other bonus. So I'm going to get another 10 million, but that means that the enemy will have the same tech level. All right, we have the modern battleship. Considering my budget of 170 million, I think I can make only three of these give or take a few uh well give or take one probably considering what i'm going to try and do with this ship we have a modern tower two and a modern secondary tower now how am i going to build the ship out i'm more of a fan of forward facing firepower than stern facing firepower uh let's go with the essentials first Wait, what? Oh, that's new. The Italians don't have a slot inside the main or the secondary tower where you can put a funnel. So the funnel is going to have to come right in the center of your ship. Hence the, the little bit of room that you have there. So that's going to take up quite a bit of space. And more importantly, it's going to push the superstructure forward so that I have less space there. That is not at all what I was hoping for. Because this means that the bow is going to be pretty restricted when it comes to firepower. Now, the enemy is state-of-the-art, has a bunch of battleships, and um, I don't know what kind of caliber to pick. I have seen that 16-inch can usually do a fair amount of damage, but you'd need quite a lot of guns. How about going for a Yamato-ish build? 18 triple. Huge superimposed. I really wonder if that's going to fit, though. Okay, it will. Sort of. Yeah, <laughs> just not there. Four weight offset, 73%. Good lord, that's probably the heaviest four weight offset I have ever had. 34%? Good lord. The problem is that there's not really that much that I can do to fix that issue. Unless... No, doesn't fit. A huge superimposed barbette doesn't fit, an enlarged one does. Oh! Well, that helps significantly. You wouldn't really expect that from a 65,000 ton battleship. Not really. Now, because I always tend to run out of shells, I'm going to go with an increased ammo shell complement. We're going to fire heavy shells, generation 2 radar. Um, I don't know what the starting range is, so let's hope it's not too bad. 
I am going to have a definite problem with that four weight offset. That is not something that I think I can fix. So maybe a couple of eights on the stern will help, but not that much. What I do find fascinating about this particular build is... Oh, never mind. I was wondering why I have so little displacement used. Well, this is why. This... <laughs> there we go. That's where the displacement went. Now we only have 4,000 tons left, and I still have to add a bunch of secondary armament. Also, I'm not using auto loaders yet. Uh, let's use enhanced loaders for this one. Advanced hydraulics. Oh god, I'm only going to build one? Oh no, 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 no. I need to make this thing cheaper. Because as she stands, she's going to be one battleship facing three. And I would lose so much of my budget. I need to stick under the 85 million. 85, uh, yeah. Right. And I only have a few secondaries. Mm, let's go with a couple of sixes. Four weight offset, 15%. Good lord. Engine efficiency is 100%. Can I do it with natural? No. I will need induced boilers. The speed of these things is going to be their downfall, probably. They're not going to be capable of getting out of harm's way. Reload is 85 seconds. Jesus. I could just armor them up. Just build them out as a tank. 14 inches of armor. Now let's give him a light hood acoustic system. Deck armor is just not worth it. So conning tower armor it is. Let's go for 13 considering I have 110% bonus. Oh, I'm too expensive again. No. Displacement's too high. So I need to reduce cash. I need to reduce expenditure on this ship. Which will probably mean that I cannot really get all the armor that I want. Go for 12 inch. I will have either an overspending or I'll have a lot of displacement. Or I'll not a lot, maybe 500 tons of displacement that I'm not actively using. Go for 11.5. Conning tower to 15. Turrets. Turrets to 15.5. Yeah. And then max it out with the tower. 15.3. Few secondaries. 12 18 inch mains. Oh, they're only Mark 3s? Huh. The reload is atrocious at 85 seconds. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a really tough one. If I reduce the torpedo belt, I might be able to either gain speed or gain more armor. Let's say I go for more speed. No. Just adding two knots is going to push you over the line pretty bad. What if I use diesels? They're not nearly as powerful, but they save me quite a bit of uh, money. Might allow me to go back up to 26, 27 knots. Engine efficiency, 78, 3. 100. Uh, what else? Can I upgrade to enhanced? No, that's way too expensive. Now, I need to keep in mind that the year is 1941. It's not 1945. 
So the enemy might be state-of-the-art, but it's state-of-the-art 1941. They don't have access to Mark V guns either. How much am I going to get penalized for this exceptionally bad pitch or weight offset? Base accuracy, minus 4%. Rudder shift speed, 8%. Acceleration, 13%. She's pretty good. <laughs> She's pretty good at slowing down. Yeah, no shit. Because she has most of her nose sticking in the water. This is as far back as this turret will go, yes? Yeah. That's about as good as it's going to get. I could maybe put these things farther stern. 13.9, wow. Oh well. Let's use a 4 weight offset and see if it works. Good lord, that's a lot of ships. They just generated so many ships here. 15 DD, 7 light cruisers, 3 battleships. That's 25 ships on their part. I have 16. But their battleships don't look too intimidating. I'm seeing 2 turrets on the bow, nothing on the stern. Probably an N3G3 hull. Which means that it does not have a lot of options when you come to stern armament. So force these things to turn around and they lose all firepower. The light cruisers and DDs might be a bigger threat to the battleships than the actual battleships. Alright, let's sort out the formation hell. Uh, it's probably not going to be very nice as it is. We have uh, Redentore del Mundo and San Isepo. Followed by the heavy cruisers Supremo and Palinuro. Many bulkheads, that's a good start. What else do you have? Oh boy. That's 20 torpedo tubes per side. Hello, Kitakami. Range 12-3. Speed's good. Even underwater torps to augment that. 7-inch guns. 20... What? No, 18 guns? Jesus. I don't think the AI has designed a heavy cruiser quite like this for me before. That is an impressive ship. Nice piece of hardware. What about the light cruisers? Maximum bulkheads? I'm so going to suffer in the destroyer department for this. Uh, seven inch guns as well. Ten of them. Triple torpedo tubes. Same range. And a lot of underwater torps. Super heavy shells. But they don't carry as many. And they don't carry as many torpedoes. Hold on. Does that go for you too? No, standard, standard. Okay, good. Then we have a whole lot of destroyers. Minimum bulkheads, there we go. I knew I was going to pay for it somehow, and there it is. Minimum bulkheads. Torpedoes, range 22-3, minus 33%, so these are oxygen-run torpedoes. And you carry... Not bad. That's 10 tubes per destroyer. And I happen to have a good number of those. Now, these guys are in one line. That's good. What about these? They are not. That's the uh, Generale Antonio Cantore and Irequita. Irequito. Uh, Aquila. Oh, shit. Hold on. Aquila, you need to detach from your current group. Because it's not very handy the way that you have set it up. And you need to join the Arequito group. So that'll be Div 7. You're going to be joining Div 6. Ostro. Split. And Ostro join Div 6. That should put all these guys more or less in one line. Now one thing I need to know is if they're all the same class. They're not. The Ostro is a different class. Uh, how fast are you? 32.5? 40 knots. Okay, so that's a significant difference. Detach. 
Are these other guys all the same class? Yes. Okay, very good. Enemy spotted to the north. That's where you're gonna go. Oh, we already have a ping. Do it again. There. 23. Alright, what else do we have? Giuseppe Lamassa. That is one of those 32 five knots. We have a... Th Jeez, there's a third class. Vincenzo Giordano Orsini. 37 knots. Maximum bulkheads. What? Another 10 torpedo tubes? This Italian fleet that the AI has given me sure likes their torpedo tubes. Oh, and this is one group that has all the DD classes in it. 32, 5, 37, and a 40 nodder. Although in the back, the Solferino. Solferino, I want you to join Div 6. So that this is a group that can achieve 40 knots. Uh, formation normal. We're going to turn that way. And I'm going to try with this destroyer group line abreast. And then when we are getting closer to the enemy, or at least in torpedo range, which uh, in these cases, well, in the case of these guys is not great. It's 9-5. We're going to turn and we're going to drop all the torps we have. So that is the objective for this div. The Ostro, still solo. The game would be so much better if they allowed me to pick what ships go where early on. Instead of this mess. See, if I want to have DDs from this group or from this group join all the way here, they're going to try and intersect with the light cruisers. It's going to be a big mess. I'm not even going to bother with these. Uh, this is Div 4. I currently set the screen command. Oh, and just for good measure, the Ardito is being followed by the Turbine. So instead of the, the Turbine being the lead ship, it's the Ardito. Who comes up with this shit? Uh, you guys, steady as she goes. 32 knots, we're going to stick to our 21 knots. And let's just see if we can find the enemy. Light cruiser set to follow. Uh, no, I want you to screen for the enemy. Oh, no, well, not so much for the enemy, but uh, screen against the enemy. And the same goes for you. Both set to screen. The destroyers over here are taking up formation. I need to sink 40% of the enemies. Nowhere does it say sink all the battleships. So that is one thing that I don't need to focus on. I just need to get rid of all the destroyers. With these torpedoes, it's probably going to be easy for the DDs to avoid, as they are very easy to spot. Oh, I have been detected. Both of my battleships have now been seen. Okay. That's fine, just show me the enemy. And I'll show them some 18-inch firepower. Now, we need to wait for the Solferino to join. The other guys are doing 32 knots. Have we been shot at yet? No. So we're being spotted. But that's about it. Uh, Diff 4, slow down. With the exception of Solferino, I want you to speed up. Now we've been shot at. 16 inch. Hits the... Redentore, I think. Yeah. Alright, you must be a battleship. Of British design. Oh, quad turrets. Fancy. Pretty sizable too. Looks like that turret's a bit out of place on that barbette, but hey-ho. Now, I'm firing a pretty dangerous combination for both myself and the enemy. I'm using 18-inch shells. Um, heavy shells. With Lidite 2. If I hit, I do a lot of damage. If my turret flies off the ship, I lose the whole ship. Because Lid I2 is fairly volatile when it comes to ammunition tastes. Alright, you guys need to turn that way. Ostro is still single. 
you're still on the way to join that group. Uh, just join this div. Join div 5. No, 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 no. That's the wrong div, isn't it? You join div 4. Ostro, detach. Ostro, join div 5. That's more like it. Yep. It's going to try and fall back in the formation and fall in line with the rest of them. Now, the DD is relative to the closest known contact, which I think is a light... Cr no, it's a destroyer. It's only 12-3. My prize really is the battleships, but there are a lot of escorting forces around that. Including a whole host of light cruisers. So for now, I'm going to keep the DDs at bay. Seeing if they want to push into my cruiser fleet. Or my cruiser escorts, rather. And let the battleships take care of the enemy battleships for a bit. 8-inch guns firing to keep the destroyer at bay. This destroyer group, Giuseppe Lamassa, is going to try and torpedo the guys here. Because there's probably someone among this group who is already capable of dropping torps. Uh, and the heavy cruisers... I should use the heavy cruisers not as a screening force, but as an actual pushing force. Because they can drop a lot of torpedoes. Lots of fire going out of my battleships. Chance to hit only about 3%. It's not too bad. Oh, they spotted the Iroquito. You did? Wow. That's pretty impressive. All of these shells looks like nothing is going to land anywhere near that battleship. A oh, one. Okay. Very good damage. 380 and flooding and fire. Engine damage would have been uh, the cherry on top, but no joy. We have a couple of salvos of torpedoes going out to meet the approaching destroyers. I hope that these guys are not targeting them when they're not in range, but it looks like... Yeah, these are the longer range one, the 22-3s. Yeah. Oh, you dum-dum. Benedito Cairoli decided to do a starfish launch, which is a bug. Sometimes it happens, but it decided to torp the Ostro, or the Ostro ran into a torpedo. That is so annoying. And these things have minimum bulkheads, so I effectively crippled my own fleet. Although, in this case, I take zero responsibility for that. Because the Ostro just got torped by the Benedetto. And I still have to keep in mind that these torpedoes, they go every which way. This one is not a threat. That one's not a threat. This one could pose a threat to the Sunny Seppo. And potentially later to the uh, Basilicata. So it's not something that I ever want to see repeated. Damage done with the torpedo, 674. I did more damage to my own fleet by a factor of about 80 than they did. And that's terrible. <sighs> Bugs in this game. Sometimes they can really mess you up. All right. Let's see if we can land any of those torpedoes that we have going out towards the destroyers. If they run long, there is a chance that they'll eventually find this warship here. And by find, I mean just happen to run into it. It's not like they're tracking anything. Now, that other destroyer group is still out here. Out on the edge. I want to see if these DDs can be gotten rid of. When it's done, we can start and push in. Uh, formation tight in this case. One of them is already falling back. Another fire. Here come all the torps. The DDs are scattering. They have definitely seen those torps. But probably not just now. That seems like a bit late. Smoke up. She's getting shot at from a light cruiser? Yeah, light cruiser. Where are the heavies? 
Suprema. Something tried to hit the battleship. Oh, something did hit the battleship. 17 inch shells. Oh, crap. The battleships that we're facing are not the same class. That is problematic because I thought they were one class, but they're not. The battleships do seem to be turning around as they have detected the swarm of torpedoes heading their way. Let's see about the other group here. They're trying to fall into formation. The battleships are all turning away. Alright, we'll just keep shadowing them with this group. I'll try not to forget about them. But no promises. Are we going to land any torps here? Because that'd be nice. It looks like this battleship does not have a lot of bulkheads. But these being fast torps, they must have been detected by now. It's just that this battleship isn't doing anything about it. That's fine, but that's at your expense. And if it continues to turn, it's going to run into another one. Yeah. You're in trouble. No flooding? Battleship Conqueror. Many bulkheads. Could have fooled me. 17-inch guns. So that's you, huh? That's you. All right. We are locked onto a destroyer, the Nubian. And over here we got the Boyne. The Boyne hasn't launched. 9.8 kilometer range. 13.2. Right. But you have launched. Quite a while ago, in fact. I probably missed the launch. Haven't detected the torpedoes yet. Just to be on the safe side, let's have the battleships turn. Because I don't trust them. The light cruisers are uh, smooching in the back here. Nubian is forced to fall back. Romola is the other one that was very heavily damaged. Not heavy enough. Conqueror flooding the 34%. Keep pushing the Conqueror. 33%, 32%. The other BBs are not yet identified. We'll wait. Chance to hit, about 5%. If I can nail those 17-inch guns early, great. Because I think I might, depending on the angle, be able to tank the 16-inch. But the 17-inch are a bit more problematic. Torpedo range 12-3. That means I'm not quite getting into torpedo range yet. Ah, second battleship identified. Glory, 16-inch guns. 16-inch... Du dual? Dual. Okay, maximum bulkheads. Lots of 6-inch secondaries. A whole lot more 4-inch and even a bunch of 2-inch. Not safe to approach with a destroyer. And unfortunately, they fire out to 13-kilometer range. Which means that Division 6 with their 9 kilometer range torpedoes, is going to have 4 kilometers at which they will come under heavy fire. Hmm. Oh well. I only need to sink 40% of the enemy. Considering their numbers, if I sink a bunch of DDs pretty quickly... That already pushes me quite deep into the territory that I need. Into the 40% the margin. You still targeting the battleship? You're not, are you? Now you are both targeting the battleship. Nubian, no more torps. They just launched. Wait, what? You targeted it? Oh, shit. Oh, dear. They were targeting the destroyers. I need you to turn harder than that, Akila. Turn. Cue the torpedo beats. <sighs> 
That is not at all what I was expecting from those destroyers. I should have checked their targets. Zebra is targeting the heavy cruisers. We're going to do a full turn. Come about. One of these guys is out. That's the Nubian. Zebra just launched. The Boyne hasn't launched yet. Because she doesn't... Well, she should have the range. Yeah, she is at the edge of her torpedo range. Conqueror is back up to 35% buoyancy. Very well. Come on. Oh, we accidentally hit the third battleship, the Dominion. That's probably another 16 duel. Yep. And since she turned around, she no longer brings those guns to bear on me. Bit of a scratch there on the Dominion. 13% of structural integrity is gone. Good damage to the main tower. If we hit it again, we're going to knock those guns down for accuracy. Suprema and Palinuro are turning around. Let's have these groups, or these guys, change course. In case the other destroyers are also going to try and torpedo me. That chance exists. Romola also targeted the torpedoes on... Yeah, also on the heavies. We're targeting... Romola. Very good. That's a lot of shell fire coming in. And torpedoes to boot. But they're heading... That way. Shouldn't have anything in there. Should be fine. Good damage. Minimum bulkheads. See if you can flutter out. Now, I want to send torpedoes in this direction. Uh, Suprema over there. Palinuro over there. Torp aggressively. Just dump everything. That's 20 per ship per side. That's the Suprema. And once we've torped, I'm going to try and push these DDs out. Palinuro. Still turning. The Palinuro's torpedo target is just outside of range. Come on, girl. I can also use the light cruisers against the DDs here. <laughs> With torpedoes and everything. 12-3. It's a bit of a waste of a good torpedo set. Meanwhile, I can have the guys over here skirmish with the other DDs. 9 kilometer range, which means they are in range. Accuracy, mm, decent. Stereo 4. What I want to do is just pincer these DDs here and kill all four of them. Battleship status. Conqueror is once again in trouble. Flooding, three damaged engines, damaged rudder and on fire. Glory, full health. But they just don't have a lot of guns. I think the Conqueror is by far the most dangerous ship that they have. With those 7-inch quads. If I kill the Conqueror, I cut their biggest guns in half. They go from 8 17s plus 4 16s. I'm oh, sorry, plus 8 16s, just to 8 16s. All the 17s will be gone. Palinuro... Yeah, Palinuro has torped. Excellent. Paliscata engaging the Boyne. Boyne returning fire. With torpedoes, no less. These guys have torps. The Despatch. They do. 12-9. Only two sets. Come back to port side. Oh, the Ostro took a bit of hits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Ostro that got hit by the destroyer. Speaking of... I have this group. And I'm still intending to use those to flank. Your range of torpedoes is 22-3, so you can definitely be useful. I need you guys to race over here at best speed. Taking some damage on the light cruisers. Torpedoes are inbound. Look long, nothing there. Okay, so that should be fine. Now we can take out the Boyne, the Zebra, the, well, whatever's left of the Romola, and see if I can get the Nubian as well. Although the Nubian is not that much of a priority, no torps. The zebra is. Let's smoke up. I do think this looks nice, this destroyer group operating in a line abreast. Not necessarily the best formation, considering most of the guns are on the stern. But nevertheless, it looks nice. Uh, if I turn that way, that would put this guy in torpedo range. But they are the fast torps. So it probably wouldn't help me that much. Smoke up, you're taking damage. Damage done, 4.6. Damage taken, 1.7. So far, so good. Conqueror is still limping around. Simply refusing to die by the looks of it. Where are those torpedo walls? There we go. That might knock one or two of the light cruisers out. This is the salvo that came out of the heavy cruisers. Romola, come on. The light cruisers are still struggling to kill the Boyne? You kidding? Oh yeah, most of the guns are on target. Kill the Zebra instead. And we're going to turn to starboard. Allowing all the guns from the, the, the uh, Basilicata to start turning towards the target. Oh. What? A light cruiser actually managed to land a torpedo? I'm impressed. And surprised. But mostly impressed. Now this other group of DDs... You guys have the 22 kilometer range. Which means that this entire group is within your range. Torp. Just torp the battleship and see what else you can fish out in the meanwhile. Uh, Boyne has detected enemy torpedoes, but Solferino has also detected torpedoes. Hold on a moment. I'm not sure if this is going to play out well. Especially for the Solferino. You're already turning. I need you to continue that. I'm just a bit sharper. This could be problematic. Despatch detected torpedoes. Yeah, the Ifenia, depending on how she's going to turn, is completely lost. Minimum bulkheads, you're dead. Not a problem. This is a problem. Torpedo's right here. Okay, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. The Irquito, depending on how she's going to turn, she's not going to turn. Turn. Solferino. Join. Oh, hold on, we're damaging the Dominion? Whoa, what the hell happened to you? You're getting hit by 8-inch guns because you happen to sail in front of the Conqueror. There goes the Ephenia. We have also sunk something else. I just don't even know what. Yeah, probably a light cruiser. No, destroyer. The Dominion got hit so hard, despite not even being the main target. I'm almost feeling sorry for that ship. Romola sinks. Took me long enough. 
Zebra starting to take serious damage. Uh, secondaries on Boyne. Boyne could launch another salvo if I don't sink her in time. Heavy cruiser status. Turning away. Okay, turn back in. Battleship status. Healthy. Flanking destroyer group status. Alive and well. Torpedoes away. Both ships. The other DDs are still trying to follow. Uh, Benedetto Cairoli already launched all of her torps. Oh, you're one of the reduced ammo for torps. Yeah, I gotcha. That explains it. Torpedo in the water. Shouldn't be an issue. Now, I had a fleet over here, and it turned into a bit of a mess. Iriquito joined F6. Uh, formation line. There's something out here, and it's continually badgering me. Needs to stop. Vesuvio. We're still not killing the zebra? Why is that so tough? Standard bulkheads. She's not that tough. She's starting to flood now. 26%. 18%. Yeah, she might be dead soon. 13. Looks like the heavies are also starting to assist in this fight. That's the zebra dead. Next target. Boyne. I'm going to start heading away from the Boyne because I don't trust her not to launch her torpedoes just before she dies. And meanwhile, the rest of the destroyers. I'm not so much using these guys as an actual force which torpedoes the target. I mean, they have launched some. But mostly to block the enemy from advancing to that position. Insofar as the AI understands that, of course. Put the secondaries on the light cruiser. Conqueror is almost dead. Look at this wall. Dominion. Still not dead. And the other battleship, the Glory, is heading away and is unable to use her 16-inch guns. See, that's the biggest problem with the N3G3 hull. They just don't have the firepower on the stern that they need. And that comes back to bite them. Quite a nice design, if I say so myself. I did expect more problems with the four weight offset, but it didn't seem that bad. Status here. Yeah, you guys should have them. Maximum bulkheads, but we're pummeling them into the ground with seven inch guns. It's another fire. Heavy cruisers are still aiding in the fight. I want you to target the newbie, and I think we have them. The guys here are evading another torpedo salvo. Origin Redoubt. Is that an actual light cruiser? No, that's a destroyer. Battleships. Continue pushing Conqueror. She's down to 8% now. At this angle, though... Fire high explosive. Not a bad fight so far. 14,000 done, 2,000 taken. Feels like I'm managing the fleet a little better than normal. And also the AI, interestingly, is spreading their fleet out all over the place. It looked like they were trying to make an attack with these DDs and then reconsidered of sorts. It's like they decided to attack and then, nope, you know what, we're not going to attack. Oh god, you sent out all your torpedoes against one destroyer. Oh, 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 the Suprema did too. That actually means I put my own destroyers here at risk. That's not great. High explosive. About to impact either with the Dominion or the Conqueror. Or none at all. 
look at the formation tightness here. That is two battleships and three light cruisers so close together. They're just asking to get torpedoed. And even if they're not getting torpedoed, then an 18-inch shell that's meant for one ship can very easily damage, potentially kill another ship. Like that. If the Diomede get hit by a stray 18-inch, she's gone. She's just dead. Oh, you guys have torpedoed everything you can? Okay. In that case, just try to gun down. Yep, there we go. That's exactly it. Diomede hit with an 18-inch shell. Not the target. Target was Conqueror. But if you cluster your ships up this much, there's even one more destroyer that wants to join, then this will happen. And you will... <laughs> You will start taking unintended casualties. That would have probably also killed off the Diomede. Now the uh, Redentore has taken some damage. So far it's only 16 and 17. I've been able to avoid the torpedo so far. But that's potentially about to change as the Despatch has launched torpedoes at me. Where are my heavy cruisers? Still working on the Nubian. And you guys are still working on the Boyne? Come on now. Torpedoes away <laughs> from the Vesuvio. Okay. Dispatch starting to take serious damage. 8 inch hit the light cruiser. I'm still waiting for the battleship to get sunk, but at this point it's... Yep, there we go, another incidental death. It's a destroyer that accidentally got hit. Immediately the whole ship got put on fire, and because of that she died. Whoa! Flash fire. Redentore del mundo. This is what I was worried about. This is exactly what I was worried about. Lidite is a fickle beast. It can really work and it can also really violently blow up when you get a flash fire. So what happened to you? You did get hit by a torpedo and that detonated your ammunition, didn't it? Two flash fires. What, you mean you knocked out both your bow turrets? Yeah. That was it. She lost both bow turrets now she's gone. Oh well. Continue putting pressure on the Conqueror. And continue sinking the Despatch. There's more torpedoes there. Guys over here. This is a very, very dispersed division. The guys who don't have torpedoes, I'm just going to detach and pull out. Because they're not that useful to me anymore. Uh, no. Retreat. Anybody else? Out of torps? Nope. Check. Check. These guys all still have torps. Nowhere does it say that I need to keep my battleships. Oh, actually, sorry. I do need to sink their battleships. I just don't need to keep mine alive. So... I still have to get rid of the Dominion, the Conqueror, and all the way over there, the Glory. Crap, this mission is going to run a lot longer than I had hoped. And this group over here is now getting torpedoed. Pretty badly. Vesuvio sinks. What? Yeah. It's because the light cruisers took so much time to sink this bloody destroyer. That it gave its last five torpedoes all to the Vesuvio. And now she sinks. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's down to you. Light cruiser sinks. General Antonio Contori sinks. Both sides are taking heavy losses now. Uh, whatever, torp that. Iriquito. Aquila is heavily damaged. These guys are not. 
Torpedo Woolston, Torpedo Fiscant. Or Vicon, I think the French would pronounce it, but this is a British ship, so we don't exactly know. Iriquito launched. This is when you launch, buddy. This is when you launch. Because three torpedoes is not going to cut it. Still have five hours to complete the mission. Put pressure on the despatch. She's still alive somehow. I'm going to push in with the heavy cruiser and just tore both of the battleships out of existence because they just continue to survive. It's starting to take way too long now. I thought I had these guys and that's when the British decided to start fighting back. Ostro, turn that way. So Ferino still not torping. But the British are. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can use this to my advantage, as the Solferino is very close to the Glory. Glory is well defended. But maybe I can flood it a little. Not necessarily killing it, but just crippling it enough. Making it an easier target. She only has one launcher, though. It's a bit light. Hold on, is this torpedo launcher constricted or something? Oh, the torpedo launcher is dead. That's why Solferino isn't launching her torps. Great. So these DDs are pretty useless. Aquila? Aquila might be able to pull it off. Detach. Starboard turn. Torpedo the battleship. With aggression. This poor battleship. She just torpedoed again. All guns on that light cruiser. It's time we put her down. Iriquito sinks. Structural damage. What hit you? 16 inch? Yeah. 16 inch hit you. Aquila is not happy to torp with the sinking Iriquito in the way. Shit. Now this is a bit aggressive, shooting an 18 inch gun at a light cruiser, but it is one of the fastest ways of getting rid of these shits. Oh, what? Uh oh. Mission com complete? Wait. What? I didn't sink all their battleships. I refuse to believe that. That didn't happen. I think this one happened. Sink 40% of enemies. So that means that there is actually another bug in this mission. It's not just a destroyer that fires torps in every which way. It's also... You don't have to do this. Because there was one battleship limping around in the back. At f well, not limping, just sailing around in the back at full health, the glory. And the glory survived. So it's not quite that you need to do all of these. It's almost like you need to do one of these, which makes no sense. All right, time to send another bug report, I guess. Anyway, that'll be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you liked the design that I made for the Italian fleet. It turned out to be rather effective up until the point where it actually detonated or flash fired. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for another video.